Good morning. Good morning. What have we been up to this week? We've been working on our driveway, lots of shoveling rubble, widening our driveway, also making it a little bit flatter. Lots of hard work, really. Yeah. Not the most interesting thing to watch, but we did also go for a lovely day out in the mountains, and we will take you along for that journey later in the video. What else? We were also picking some lupini beans. Lupinis! <laughs> oh, and we made a really good peach pie. We also got Patreon this week. Over there, we will be giving our patrons early access to videos and exclusive updates in real time from the homestead. Yeah, we appreciate all our loyal subscribers that follow us on YouTube. And if you want to support us any further, go check us out on Patreon. We'll put the link yeah. in the description. <laughs> but enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy. Come here, Beals. Come on. You want to say hello? <laughs> oh, oh my shoulder. With the billy on your shoulder? Now I got all that cut back, which is great. Get it all moved away in the wheelbarrow. Be able to keep digging. Around here looking a bit flatter. Definitely wider. The only problem is in along here, lots of broken glass. Which took me quite a while to pick it all up. And there's still more in there. But starting to move my way on further and I can come back to it. Bottom of our driveway starting to take shape. Just a lot more open and flatter. Not level, but we don't want the water to sit on it. We want it all to run off. Down Peach pie side. pastry time. So it's said to mix together the butter, sugar and eggs until it looked like scrambled eggs, which this most definitely does. Time to add in the flour and get a nice pastry. Here we go. A nice short crust pastry bowl, which I'm going to pop in the fridge. Before rolling out later. All buttery. So while Will has been working on the driveway, 
I've been on this terrace, which is just at the front of our veranda, doing a bit of gardening, getting rid of some brambles, which, as you know, we've got everywhere. And it really does just open this area up a good bit. We have our sage plant just here. And once again, finding lots of rubbish. This is a bramble pile. Find these little pot lids. And more wire and things, but yeah, this was all brambles before. So pretty happy with that. We're giving this nice rose bush a good bit more room. Quick update on our driveway. You can see in here is being filled quite a bit. Managed to get rid of all the rubble that was left over from our old kitchen, which is great and it'll strengthen the ground up. Still some more to go on because it is still lower than this part. Um but it's definitely getting there. Space is getting bigger. Just taking a little bit of time. So we've got the hair sort of widened out and flattened a bit more. Just down behind our kitchen where there's some logs sitting. That's where the big massive pile of rubble was that just came out of our kitchen, the old chimney and stuff. So definitely good to get that area cleared up. And then on up here again, just flattening and out more. And slightly widening make it a bit easier and we're getting down the stone this side up to our car what I do hopefully plan to do is move this big rock it's just in front not sure if I'll be able to move it but At the left hand side here where our drain is it is a good bit steeper so i'm hopefully going to move this big rock roll it into there and then we can drive down and around here which is just more of a gentle slope plus it means at the top you're not as tight of a turn to get out this big rock i have dug a bit around it it looks heavy and it hasn't moved yet. So I'm just, I've just peeled and I'm now chopping up the peaches for our peach pie. I've had a bit of a an idea, I was going to say good idea, but we'll see if it works. And rather than just tossing the pits from the peaches into the compost, I thought they're quite fleshy still, so like bits of peach on them. I'm going to make peach iced tea because I do enjoy a peach iced tea. Peachy fingers. Yeah. <laughs> we have our pie pastry in. Just going in with a filling. I haven't.
Looking good there. Decided to do a lattice pattern just because we're so fancy. Aren't we? Fancy? Definitely. When it comes to pie. <laughs> What do you think? I think so. This is for her. Oh, I was gonna cook it. <laughs> oh, you you have to cook it first, Bailey. <laughs> I thought you were sorry, sorry. Unless you want to share some of the peach pie with her. No, no, I didn't know. <laughs> I've got the oven the right temperature. Bottom shelf, yep. We're getting the hang of this wood fired oven. Quite the center, but quite close to the door. There? Perfect. So we've just parked up here for the day. We are on another mountain which we are exploring. We pass through a cool looking village with some cows, cows <laughs> and some random chickens running about which we will show you later and we have just decided on a trail for today to loop, love a loop which should bring us back here and we're parked beside a beautiful waterfall have a good day. Looks so nice down there. Well, maybe we go down this way. Yeah, sounds good. Another nice view from up here. I feel like I'm on top of the mountain up here. We are. <laughs> Almost up there. Behind you. Up. Yep. Let's head up there. Get a nicer look about. Should be able to get up there somehow. Left turn. Right up. Yeah. Coming up. 
Ya. Almost up at the top. Just this little bit to go. Here comes Danny. I ran on ahead of her. Just to get a, the first look. <laughs> Looks yeah. big new to it. Looking very nice up here. We've got more to go. Oh, you think you're at the top? And then there's just another hill and another hill. And we've made it. Whew. Nice view from there. <laughs> up the other side we're going now there's where we were up with them rocks <laughs> what do you think they've planted? Um, corn maybe? Perhaps corn. It's always with the corn. Little signs everywhere make it a lot easier. Just paint it on the rock. Fun fact, lizard. Actually. Find some new friends. Quite small, aren't they? Are you looking at me? <laughs> they are quite small for big cows. But it must just be the breed. Big horns, so it's cool. The kind that I would be open to. A few of these in the farm. You wouldn't want them head button you. No. This is what I love about getting out on hikes and seeing new places is just seeing how other people live definitely a much older generation that you see about in these kind of areas and also the area where we live as well We went on a nice walk. Waterfall time! Waterfall time! That water looks so good! It does. Just need to get down to it now. Cascada de Galego! Big loop we've just done. Be good to go in, cool down a bit. Really hot today, 32 degrees. And we've got our lunch. <laughs> Can't wait to jump in. Careful. 
Be careful over there. Sliding down on your bump. Cheers! Leftovers from yesterday? Hi by waterfall! <laughs> what a fancy picnic this has been! Yummy! Hope they feel it! Emmy? Do you want the plate? How is it? Good? Really good. Peach pie by the waterfall. We are spending this afternoon doing something a little bit unexpected, perhaps. So we discovered that all around this area, amongst the wildflowers, and also down at the top of our forest, which we will bring and show you, that we have lu lupin beans growing, or lupini. Lupini is the Italian name. Uh, they're native to Italy. But, and I like to say lupini because it's just much more fun than lupin. So we've got lupini beans growing and we've just realised they're just about ready to pick. So what we wanted is for the shells to have sort of dried out and turned a brown colour, which you can see here. Like this. And they're everywhere. So like here, 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 and here. All over the place. They're everywhere. They're a great ground cover crop anyway, and we didn't need to plant them. They were just naturally here. Um, they're quite commonly eaten in Portugal, actually. They're referred to as tremosos, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a go at picking some, deshelling them, and then browning them ourselves. They, you can't eat them straight from the plant. Kind of a bit like olives, they need to soak. Well, we're going to soak them tonight and then tomorrow boil them. And then they'll go into the fridge and they will be soaking for another two weeks and we'll change the water each day. And then we shall have some... Lupini beans. Lu I love my beans. Do you love your beans? I'm the bucket. I've definitely packed it a lot more. You put a wee bug on your hat. Have I? So you beat the wee sort of just leaving. It's happy up there. I've definitely picked more. Hey. Let's get pick them. Let's see it. Oh, so many! They're everywhere! All over the place. Bit hard to spot to start with, but once you see one, you'll see another beside it. They were originally bright, sort of yellow flowers, and then whenever the flowers have been pollinated, 
they are turned into the little pods which contain the beans. Yeah. This is once again another big experiment. But, but that's the fun. It's worth a try. Yeah. So it is. I like to learn and try out new things. Don't we? We do. Don't know oh, if you can see it on the camera, there? but that's what they were like. And that's what they go like. Quite the difference. <laughs> yeah. the spot but where are you give us a wave <laughs> go on Yep. Maybe we could get Bailey to search for Lupinis. <laughs> Lupini dog, I think she would get distracted too easily. Yep. Lupini, Lupini, Lupini. <laughs> Look at all these Lupinis. We just have a lot of shelling to do. Get crack them. Let's get crack them. Hit <laughs> the...